Okay, so I've got the Thin Moon, right? And it's just mounted on a tablet uh, with just a soft white background. And um, the camera's picking it up okay. But you can see <clears throat> the light transmission through the wax. And um, we're just going to hollow out the back a little with the scraping tool. And then I'll show you what that looks like once we get all the way through. Okay, so we're backlighting with an incandescent bulb. It's like a 200 watt bulb to get the camera to see what we're looking at, but we've carved out the back. And so you can see all the different regions of topography, everything that we've scratched in to make the moon um, now have variance in the, the value of the blue coloring. So the perimeter uh, shows up very strongly as dark blue, right? You can see the dark blue here. And then we have these lighter regions where we've carved into the, the front surface to make our textural elements that make up the moon. And then on the back side, uh, it's just a smooth texture, but you can still see those transmittance. Uh, so this, this crater here and this crater here and this crater here are all showing up as thinner spots, which is good. But uh, we're gonna switch the lighting to top lighting now. And um, from there, take a look at what those surface textures look like. So we've carved out a fairly uniform uh, dish shape, nothing too exciting, nothing too terrible. And then there's our textural element that's been flame polished for our moon. And so you can see, generally we have everything done. We're close to doing our, our final profile. Um, there's a, a divot right here that I would probably file out as a contour to make the moon more smooth. Um, but first we'll carve off this remainder portion of, that was our handle for flame polishing. But I wanted to get everyone on the same page for what the surface texture looked like and then what the back texture looked like. And if you want to carve this so it's all a uniform thickness, you can. They make tools for measuring all the thicknesses uh, to make sure that's the case. But I find that um, leaving this as a smooth piece just prevents it from collecting debris that, that we don't need to deal with. And I've left the edge very thick because um, depending on the application, but for the application I'm using, I want a thicker perimeter. If you make it too uniform in thickness, the whole uh, form can deflect or bend. And I'm pretty hard on my jewelry, so... <laughs> I like to think about, you know, someone banging this up and it not just crumpling like a piece of foil. So I've left a little more body here on the perimeter. And then I'll, I'll soften this edge so it's not just, um, you know, like a 30 degree edge, but it has more of a radius to it. But that's where we're at for the moon shape.